Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing the Sylvanian family's grocery market. So first I'll show you all the different ways that you can set up the grocery market. So we've got the base and two fences. And then the main part of the shop, like the walls, the doors, and everything. So the first way I'm going to show you is with this part at the front. So it just slots in like that at the front. clicks in and then at the back you can put these fences in like that so that gives you the biggest amount of space inside the shop with no space at the front so you just step up here and go in like that and then the next way is to have room outside and inside the shop So then I'm going to turn this around like that and then this just slots in uh, there, I think. And then Fences go at the front. Like that. So now you have space at the front of the shop here, which you could put the basket and the bag. So you can take that before you go in and then you've got half the space inside that you had before which makes it a bit of a tight squeeze when you put all of these back inside. But I think this is my favourite way to have it set up because I like having the space outside and I think it just, it kind of looks too empty when you have this bit at the front because then it's like a massive room, it's like double the size so you can fit more people in but then you haven't got as much stuff in it for the size of the room but like this I think it looks quite cosy, you just can't fit people like standing in it as well. So this is gonna ha is gonna be how I'm gonna have it set up like that. So now I'll show you the actual building in more detail. So it's got a green and orange colour scheme. On the doors it says welcome on the outside and thank you on the inside. On the side there's a sign and it says supermarket welcome fresh fruits and vegetables 10 a.m open every day and then it's also got today's special lettuce eggs tomato banana 50 percent off and it says farmers market and it says fresh local food it says well in the morning 
shopping and a parking fee and it's also got a little phone at the bottom and it says customer center and then something written really really small that you can't read I really love the like bricks it looks so detailed the windows at the front are so big and fancy like they've got really fancy shapes at the top and on this side we've got an archway here's the inside so we've got a sign again in here but you can see that it's ripped because when I was unboxing this the sticker got stuck to itself but then I couldn't get it apart again without it ripping so that's annoying but I don't think you noticed it that much really we've got this little bit at the top which also has an interesting shape window kind of matches the shape of the fences then the inside we've got some posters on the wall about today's special and the farmers market so now I'm going to put all the pieces back in I just poured out all of the stuff just so I can show you all the pieces individually whilst I'm setting it up so we've got the food corner stand which has also got the blue and green little kind of awning bit at the top and it's got little parts that you can put like fruits and vegetables in and the shelf here and a little shelf at the side there and the back it's just plain like wood effect so I'm going to put this inside in here and then we've got so you can see it's got a little screen it says total and 500 it says on it it's very expensive then <laughs> it's a very expensive weekly shop if you're paying 500 pounds for it i guess it's probably for like the chocolate rabbit family because there's like at least 10 of them so they're a very big family so maybe they spend 500 pounds and then we've got another screen here and it says orange and it also says 500 I hope that's not the price for just one orange otherwise they're very expensive and you see the little pictures as well I guess that's the different sections of the shop like fruits and vegetables and there's like a picture of like a carton of milk so that's cool And then what I really love, my favourite thing, is you can actually use this because it moves along like that. So all the things will roll, roll off when you push that. So it's like they're actually moving themselves. So that's really cool, like on the conveyor belt. That's probably my favourite thing about this set. I'm just put that in there and we've also got where's it gone I don't know I shouldn't have bought everything out should I oh here it is we've got the little credit card which is very small there we go so that's also green and orange to match the colour of the shop and on the back you can see it's very small but you can see there's a space for you to put your signature so that's cool just put that on the side here they want a credit card if they're spending 500 pounds on their shop or else it'll take forever counting out all that cash <laughs> so here is all of the food so we've got Breakfast gluten organic products, it's called. <laughs> so, some it also says it's gluten free. Why is it called breakfast gluten if it's gluten free? That's interesting. Well, it's some kind of 
gluten free cereal that is called gluten which is a bit strange so I'll put those in the shop we've got two bottles of milk so we haven't actually got cartons it's actually just a bottle just says fresh milk I put these on the end here they kind of need a fridge to put those in or else it'd go off pretty quick and we've got two boxes of eggs And we've got a carton of orange juice. And a carton of apple juice. And we've got two boxes of crackers. Just stack those. Actually, I might put them on the top shelf as I haven't put anything up there yet. Put the eggs side by side or else there'll be a big gap at the top. So I put the crackers at the top, oh, put them in upside down. Oh. And we've also got two tins of sweet corn. Put those at the top and two tins, oh two little tins of sweet corn so we've got big tins and little tins of sweet corn. And lastly we've got all the fruit and vegetables so we've got two lettuces, is that how you say? Is that what it is? I don't know, lettuces? Lettuce? I don't know. <laughs> and we've got two bunches of bananas. Three little tomatoes. Three yellow peppers. Three red apples. Oh no, where's that gone? Oh, it's only down here. Got it. It fell down into Rose Cottage. <laughs> right. And lastly, got three oranges so I'll now show you how the conveyor belt works so you put the bag at the bottom and what we're going to buy tomato and bunch of bananas, so I've got the bananas up there for now so what you do is just push that it goes along and into the bag 
then again bananas and then they've all landed in there I think that's really cool that's definitely my favorite part so the really good thing about like the newer Sylvanian sets is I think they're trying to make more things that like actually work with them like with moving parts and all stuff like that I think that's really great it just makes it more fun and adds to the play value I think is what they call it <laughs> and like stuff like that and I think it's just really fun and it's also really good for when I'm making like my stop motions that it's got parts that actually like work and move just makes it more interesting and makes my stop motions more realistic and it's just really fun I love it I can sit here for hours and just put things in there and oh and it fell in. oh it's falling in straight away oh we'll do that again then <laughs> put it on there and then Whee! it's just so fun <laughs> that's definitely my favorite part and also it's great that it comes with lots of different food and fruits and vegetables and things it's very healthy at this shop and the different ways you can set it up so you can choose how you want it I think that's a really cool idea and so it's really great for like for your imagination like because you can set it up how you want and like the moving parts and everything it's just such a great set thanks for watching please subscribe bye